Stations, welcome to more of Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. This tape contains five programs. Programs number 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Program number 19, or cut number one on this tape, is an interview between Lucy Arnaz and Sally Struthers of All in the Family fame. The running time on program number 19 is 4 minutes and 50 seconds, 4.50. Program number 20, or cut number 2 on this tape, is Dick Clark being interviewed by Lucy. The running time is 5.18. Program number 21, cut number 3 on this tape, is an interview with Lorenzo Music, better known as... Hello, uh, this is Carlton Udorman. Running time for Lorenzo Music is 4 minutes 48 seconds, 4.48. Cut number 4 on this particular tape, program number 22, Burt Reynolds, as interviewed by Lucy. Running time for Burt Reynolds, 5.07, 5 minutes and 7 seconds. The last cut on the tape, cut number 5, or program number 23, features an interview between Lucy Arnaz and Dirk Benedict, star of ABC's Battlestar Galactica program. That particular interview runs 455. Five cuts, cut number one, program number 19, Sally Struthers with Lucy Arnaz, running time 450, rolls in five seconds. Working, living, loving, and just coping today. You know, there are lots of interesting people who've done it well, and they're all part of Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. She won an Emmy for her portrayal of one of the most famous daughters on TV, Gloria Bunker Stivic. She's Sally Struthers, and she's my friend. Hi, Luce. Hi, Sal. <laughs> Listen, I'm really impressed with the fact that you have as much time as you have there are so many causes why, why did you choose of all the other ones the Christian Children's Fund well I about f four years ago got a, m a letter from the Christian Children's Fund uh, telling me that I could uh, just it was a general mail out type letter it wasn't specifically to me that I could uh, take care of a child for fifteen dollars a month and my grandmother had always done that when I was growing up my nanny and it always impressed me. She had little boxes going on her desk, and one was for children, and one was for the church, and she always deposited her coins. And so I, I was on all in the family and doing well and, and living in a lovely apartment and thought, if, if I can't afford $15 a month, who can? This is ridiculous. I'd love to help a child. That's terrific, because just to have somebody associated with a cause like that, somebody that you trust, and I think you have a, an image that is of somebody that people really like, the, the girl next door, because you grew up, you're in their living rooms, like that's true, like our family was, you know, too. But um, being on All in the Family, how do you handle what it's done to you, though, as far as not being able to just be anonymous? I usually handle it pretty well. I'm not sure how I handle it, I handle it pretty well. Every once in a while I have a bad day and I get angry, and I, I complain bitterly about my loss of privacy. For instance, my home, I believe, has just gotten on the movie star map, oh. and I have no massive gates in front of my house. I'm, my house is literally right on the street, and people, the tourists that come here, um, have no respect that this is my private life. But that's about the only time. The rest of the time, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk with anybody about anything. I, I love that people recognize me. I dread the day when they come up and say to me, didn't you used to be <laughs> Sally Struthers? So right now, while I still look like I am, I'm loving it. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you feel that you're a star? There are times when you get a pseudo-Hollywood feeling when you're in a limousine on the way to the Emmy Awards and you're wearing your tuxedo or a lovely gown. Your mother always makes fun of me because I wear my tux. She says, my God, girl, don't you have a dress? <laughs> but uh, at those moments you feel like a star. And then your real come down when you don't feel like a star is when you walk inside and you lose. And then your own insecurities come to the front and then you don't feel like a star at all. You feel like a lost little girl from Portland, Oregon. and and used and abused, and so that fairy tale ends. This year was particularly hard for me at the Emmys because our show was up in um, 
six categories, and we won in five of them. I was the only one that didn't win. So what's the most important survival technique for an actor here or anywhere? Know yourself well enough so that you never compromise and so that when you're up for something and you lose it, whether it be a part or an award, that you're not devastated. Just keep going, and you only do that by knowing yourself well enough. We'll be right back with Sally Struthers. If you shampoo and shampoo, but still can't keep ahead of the greasies, the problem could be your shampoo. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Cleans your hair, then gently cleans your scalp where the greasies can start. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Sally Struthers, what is happy? Me. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I'm happy. And that's Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. Lucy and friends will be back next time, so be sure to tune in. Cut number two on this tape, program number 20, Lucy with Dick Clark, running time 518, rolls in five seconds. Working, living, loving, and just coping today. You know, there are lots of interesting people who've done it well, and they're all part of Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. He is the leader, he is the king of boobop, he is the daddy of rock and roll and pop, he is the genius, do I do I do boobop, he is Dick Clark. Are those the real lyrics? Those are mine. Oh, I thought they, they sounded a little funky. What I did not recognize. Give it about an 85. It's easy to <laughs> dance to. <laughs> <laughs> With a bullet. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. welcome, Dick. Hello. Listen, I got so nervous just doing that, I'm shaking. Because well, it's live. Pretty I good just realized that. That's difficult. Do you get that nervous when you do your live show? I got nervous the first week, Lucy, and then from then on, it's, uh, it's what I've been accustomed to all my life. My wife says I'm more at home in a television studio than anywhere else in the world. I think it's true. Because I, you know, I've spent almost 30 years there. And it's cozy, and it, I know what's going to happen. If a new member of rock and roll today is going to enter the scene, how would they do that without getting into the drug scene as well? Well, I don't think necessarily one goes with the other, though the jazz musicians were heavy into drugs for years before the rock and rollers came along. Drugs are, a, I think, a sidelight of the dreadful life you lead on the road. And you certainly know that it's not a bucket of roses out there. Because it's lonely. It's lonely. You work hard. You have a lot of pressure on your head. Uh, the biggest problem you have all through life is resisting peer pressure. I get pleasure by going out and having a big dinner and getting fat, you know. <laughs> so like yourself is what you're saying. Like yourself and realize that if you, if you pump enough stuff into your body, you'll die young. And if that's your objective, uh, Godspeed. Uh, I don't subscribe. I don't want to shake you up, but whenever you die, you're going to die young. Anybody you know, ever tell you that? The greatest line I've heard, I love, Alan King said the other night, here I am, 50s, my middle age, middle age, who do you know who's 100? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I don't think we ought to keep track, to tell you the I truth. I don't either, but I, whoever sold you that little bottle of drinking fluid that you and Annette, <laughs> and uh, it's true. <laughs> You've got an awful lot of other ambitions, though, that you have yet to complete, I think, which amazes me because you've been doing it all so long that I would think that it, as hot as you've been for so many years, you could have done everything you wanted to do by now. Host a talk show, produce mm. a movie, all those things. Takes Wh time. I've, I've done most of them. Let's see What's the left? What do you still want to do? What's an unfulfilled fantasy? Well, I'm working on one right now, and I've been given the opportunity. I do a live television variety show, which is on the air and succeeding mildly. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I... I I'm now, uh, you know, not a kid anymore. I'd like to relax a little more and spend more time on single projects. And movies let you do that. Television is a giant vacuum cleaner. I hope that variety stays on, show stays on. I'd like to do that till they cart me away. You know, that that's my ultimate personal ambition. And as a as a fellow behind the scenes, I like to produce movies. 
You know, there's a, probably a lot of people who owe a lot of their career success to you. Do you think this gives them an opportunity to pay you back by doing live? Your hey, all, show? all you got to do is look at the first few shows. I did. I've, I have always said that the greatest thing you receive from the entertainment business is, aside from the money, you get the satisfaction of living in an arena almost at the threat of your emotional life, and you build friends. It's like going to war. You build up a lot of buddies. Barry Manilow needs to go on television like a hole in the head for the amount of money I can afford to pay him. You know that they do it for you. I know that. Diana do. Ross, I knew when she was a 15-year-old skinny kid dragging around on a bus with me. When I send out a help call and I say to Barry Gordy, going on television, fella, I got to have the superstar, would you play? She says, what, are you kidding? Of course. Hey, what do you want? You're on your Greatest your compliment guy. to you anybody could get. Oh, it Absolutely. brings tears to Because doing that live performance is not the best way always to be presented, and they mm -hmm. have to trust you a lot to say, I'll do it for Dick, because he's going to do it right. Yeah. We'll be back in a moment with Dick Clark. If you shampoo and shampoo, but still can't keep ahead of the greasies, the problem could be your shampoo. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Cleans your hair, then gently cleans your scalp where the greasies can start. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Dick Clark, what is happy? Oh, that's the easiest question in the world. Being happy, of course, is being healthy and doing what you like to do and being paid enough to live on it. And that's Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. Lucy and friends will be back next time, so be sure to tune in. Cut number three on the tape, an interview between Lucy Arnez and Lorenzo Music, Carlton, your doorman, program number 21, running time 4.48, rolls in five seconds. Working, living, loving, and just coping today. You know, there are lots of interesting people who've done it well, and they're all part of Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. Back in the early days of radio, voices were so very important and identifiable. Well, my next guest has made his mark with just his voice on television. But you've never seen him. You've only heard him. Hello, uh, this is Carlton, your doorman. Oh, great. Uh, yes, Carlton? Oh, uh, uh, there's someone here to see you. Should I send him up? Yeah, Carlton, please. He's he's just a little bit early, but I'm dying to talk to him. Oh, okay. I'll send him up. Carlton? Huh? Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome, Lorenzo Music. Hi. Uh, but, but you sure got up here quick. Well, I just ran. <laughs> Lorenzo, do you have any identity problems at all about never being seen on television? Um, it's it's a little strange when people refer to me as the character. You know, because I'm not, I don't feel like I'm the character. I feel like I'm a person who does the character. Because that's not, that's really not your primary function on this show is to be called tonight. Well, it is now. Is it it's really? It's really all I'm doing now besides just having fun, you know, um, I guess making money is what I'm skirting the issue. That I'm but you had sure. a lot to do with the creation of this show, didn't you? Yeah, I was one of four people who uh, created it. And I did produce it with uh, my partner, Dave Davis, for the first couple of years. Well, don't you just get frustrated as heck just being Carlton on Rhoda and no. not being able to have your face ever seen? No, I have a life now. I have a life. I don't have to come here every day and worry about the show and put it together and do all that stuff. That, that really got to me after a while. So what does your life consist of today? I'm writing a movie. Oh, I'm yeah? playing with my children. What was the first thing? You have a, well, the, the hyphen credits go on for days with you, writer... You know, I started out when I was seven, wanting to be a nightclub comic, because I saw my dad. My dad really had a nice way with the crowd, and he would, in the summer, go to this resort in the Catskills, and he would take over. And I didn't realize then, but it was a way so we didn't have to pay for the weekend. And he was the MC. And starting with that, I thought that's what I wanted to do. And then when I was in high school, I saw a couple of comics 
we, I was growing up in Duluth, Minnesota, you understand, so there wasn't a lot of, a lot of uh, interplay with show business, whoever came through. And uh, so I went to the Catskills, and I was a waiter and a busboy, and I saw a couple of comics, and I said, that's what I want to do. I want to spend my life, you know, getting love from large numbers of people. Is your real name Lorenzo Music? Yeah, it is now. It wasn't always, though. That's not what you were born? No, you do know you what you tell people what you Sure. Mean? You want to know? Yeah. You won't believe it. I will. You sure? My father's name is Desiderio Alberto Idiacho Arnez. I believe anything. Okay, here it is. It's not Lorenzo Music. I was born... Gerald Music. Music is the name that is hard to believe, not See, Lorenzo. you're not believing and you said you'd believe it. I do believe you're it. Having I a hard believe time. everything you say. That's it's absolutely true. But Lorenzo Music is a wonderful name. Thank you. Who chose that? Well, it was chosen by a man in Indonesia, actually. Truly? Uh-huh. For numerology's sake? or <laughs> No, for, but for spiritual reasons. More after this. If you shampoo and shampoo, but still can't keep ahead of the greasies, the problem could be your shampoo. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Cleans your hair, then gently cleans your scalp where the greasies can start. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Lorenzo music. What is happy? Well, I think happy is always there. I think happy is that which bubbles up when those things that we call unhappy and problems and troubles are removed or in some way handled or in some way solved or in some way given the promise of being taken care of and out of our way. I think our normal state is happy. <laughs> And that's Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. Lucy and friends will be back next time, so be sure to tune in. Cut number four, Lucy Arnaz with Burt Reynolds. Program number 22. Running time 5.07, rolls in five seconds. Working, living, loving, and just coping today. You know, there are lots of interesting people who've done it well, and they're all part of Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. My guest today is Burt Reynolds. Um, for the benefit of our radio audience, Bert, who may not know you, could you describe a little bit about what you look like? I'm uh, tall on some days and short on others. Uh -huh. Quite handsome occasionally, and today I feel rather drab. Listen, when or what exactly, if you can remember, when was the first time you decided that I'm, I'm really, I'm a talented person? Um, I don't know. I think... Uh, I think I started thinking I was a good actor about uh, about a year ago. Good actor. Till then? Yeah, I thought I was a uh, I thought I was interesting for about uh, twelve years, but I didn't think I was a good actor till about a year ago. Nothing in particular. Just there wasn't a moment when you just were driving in your car and you thought, boy, that that really proves. No, what just I'm doing. I thought, gee, it's about time. What's the last wish you made that came true? This morning, I wished my mother would get well. She had an operation and she did. That was the best wish I've had in 20 years. What bores you? People that use other people. The users bore me. People that uh, make a living off of other people. Uh, made up mistakes. Not real mistakes, but made up mistakes. I mean, like, it's like those magazines, you know, those newspapers. They bore me. Those, the national whatever. The national, <laughs> that bores me. Yeah. Um, unless my picture's on the cover, and then I just give it a little quick glance. Do you have a recurring nightmare? Um, yeah, that, that uh, I'll never be recognized as a good actor by the industry, only by Atlanta. <laughs> 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 now, seriously, you said that a couple years ago, but that's not true anymore. No, it isn't true. I just won the photo play award. 
for the male star of the year. I yeah, know that. I understand. That's that. a step in the right direction. Hey, I mean, because Photoplay obviously knows what they're talking about. I right? also I won mean the Colombian, <laughs> you know, the Colombian <laughs> Film Festival. Is there anything like Carol Burnett winning the San Sebastian? That's the same film? one. Bert, who do you think is the most dangerous person in the world? Dangerous. Uh, writers who, who have the ear of people who lie. What are you sure that people don't know about Burt Reynolds? Sure that they don't know? Positive that they don't Positive know. Positive that they don't know that there's an, another side of me that, that I won't let them know about because that's just for people like you and people that I care about. I always thought that you kind of wanted people to understand that there was another side that wasn't at all like what they see on the Carson show and things. Yeah, but I mean, who has t how boring that would be to go on for 90 minutes and talk about how wonderful you are and sensitive and... No, caring. not how wonderful and sensitive, but that you do make jokes about, hey, I mean, if I did all these things that they say I do and, and that yeah, you really they, do, don't... Yeah, but they think I do them anyway. And actually, you, it's not bad that they think that, right? It's not bad that I do them. <laughs> 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 then who's responsible for the misconception of Burt Reynolds? Me and uh, a lot of people that uh, take what I say in jest seriously. What's your next wish? My next wish? I want to direct. I really want to direct so bad. More, you mean? Well, yeah. I just want to stop holding my stomach in and forget it. Uh, and, uh, and then people will stop uh, caring who I went out with last night, who I'm going out with tomorrow night, and they'll just, they'll just judge my work We'll be back in a moment with Burt Reynolds. If you shampoo and shampoo, but still can't keep ahead of the greasies, the problem could be your shampoo. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Cleans your hair, then gently cleans your scalp where the greasies can start. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. I got one last question. Bert, what is happy? Happy is the ability to give joy and to see it when you give it to other people. And that's Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. Lucy and friends will be back next time, so be sure to tune in. Final cut on this particular tape, program number 23, cut number 5, an interview with ABC's Battlestar Galactica star Dirk Benedict with Lucy Arnaz, running time 4.55, rolls in 5 seconds. Working, living, loving, and just coping today. You know, there are lots of interesting people who've done it well, and they're all part of Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. He is the star of probably the most popular television show of the new season, Battlestar Galactica. He and I did Little Abner last summer in Ohio. He played Little Abner, and he's a very good friend, Dirk Benedict. Hello. Hi. Dirk. Yes. Yeah. Everything has gone right <laughs> for you since I left. It's I'm, just wonderful. No, it all began with you. That's when it started going right. Yeah? It started going right. Little Abner was the beginning. From Little Abner, I never stopped uh, working. Well, <laughs> it's my it's yeah. perfect now. I mean, it's just, what's, yeah. what's changed in your life? Doing the show, the show consumes one's life, doing Battlestar Galactica. You work 16 hours a day. So the, the primary change is the fact that I have no private life. At all. At all. <laughs> I understand. I know that if you work all day long and you're at the studio all day, you sometimes have to just stay overnight there. You yeah. don't even get a chance to go home. Isn't that yeah. right? And but they provide a wonderful, provide me a 32-foot motor home. With a bedroom in the back, probably. A bedroom and a bathroom. Ah, but en is. enjoy it, Dirk. Oh, I do. <laughs> enjoy <laughs> it and keep, <laughs> just look around, keep take it all in. And you enjoy can't laugh, it. at least giggle. Well, you deserve it. You've worked hard. You I've lived on the other side. I mean, I know I've, 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 you know, I've, a year and a half ago, I came from Montana with a double bag and a Greyhound bus and a Greyhound bus when I came back from my little place up there. 
So, you know, I've, uh, I've experienced the, the various levels along the way. And it's amazing to me, you know, now that I'm going to, going to get the chance to experience this. I mean, that's, that's I still, that's, that's fa it's fantastic. To digress for a moment to another Please, subject. Yes. If, if a lady is sitting out there wondering uh, how she mm -hmm. can, uh, when she meets Dirk Benedict, not how, but when she was to meet Dirk Benedict, mm -hmm. what would she have to learn to uh, put up with, say, in order to <laughs> become a pal? I am specifically thinking of your health habits. Ah, yes. <laughs> Yes, I have, of course, times have changed, you know, I'm considered less weird than I was two or three years ago. Oh, change, that's change true. Change. A lot of people are into uh, yeah. healthy habits of eating and whatnot. It's amazing. I've become the, I've become the sort of the, the, the resident uh, cook on Here? Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, I cook right, right in my little kitchen in my motorhome with my wok, you know. Well, okay, so the answer to the question, I don't eat meat. And I and it's a way I've, I've, I've changed my, my way of, uh, of, of, of eating from one of... Uh, meat and whiskey to uh, brown rice and carrot juice so it's a it's I eat, I eat in a way that's based on whole grain rather than any kind of animal food how's, how does that keep your energy level up for the kind of pace you have to work now I'm serious you've been doing mm -hmm. this for a long time but mm -hmm. you never really had to put it to the test I am getting tired I we've been working since we've been working on, on the show for eight months and I don't and my energy level is lower than it was when we began but uh, I've been really... Uh, what do you eat, say, for instance, when you feel you need a pickup in energy and other people, almost the entire world, will grab a candy bar or something and, and you don't do that, so but no, you need the, the energy pickup too. That's the whole point is you don't really, I can say, you know, well, I'll chew on a carrot or something, but I don't get those highs and those lows. Well, that's because you, you don't which have is, Right, which is the really, it's a sustaining kind of energy yeah. that comes from grain because it, it the grain has carbo so much carbohydrate in it plus protein and minerals, so it metabolizes very slowly so in the body. You just need some more of that. If anybody walked into your kitchen, they wouldn't believe it. No, it's they wouldn't know what to do. They'd think they'd walked into a granary. Right, it's just like a horse stall. Right. They'd look for Trigger. <laughs> 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 we'll be back right. in a minute with Dirk Benedict. <laughs> if you shampoo and shampoo, but still can't keep ahead of the greasies, the problem could be your shampoo. New Agree Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoo. New Agri Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Cleans your hair, then gently cleans your scalp where the greasies can start. New Agri Shampoo helps stop the greasies between shampoos. Dirk Benedict, what is happy? Happy is not being afraid to say yes. And that's Tune In with Lucy Arnaz. Lucy and friends will be back next time, so be sure to tune in.